In, in every film we see, we project ourselves. A film has to have an individual imprint, things that are going on right before your eyes. I would say to my friends, you know, if you want to see me, stand in front of the Lincoln Plaza Cinema. Well, what made the Lincoln Plaza so unique was it felt like a family kind of experience. I kept bumping into the same people over and over again, and we would be standing in line and waving, and you'd smile at them, and they would smile at you. It felt like a mom and pop kind of shop. It wasn't like a conscious choice, oh, I want to be at the Lincoln Plaza Cinema. It was just that that's where you went to see the best movies. That's for sure. I mean, you know, the directors that uh, Dan introduced, that he launched, Fassbender, Herzog, Wim Wenders, Usman Senben, Bernardo Bertolucci, that was the first film he presented in this country, which we distributed, not even knowing what distribution meant. Talbot had an eye for films that didn't make it anywhere else. You know, I think about Whale Rider, for example. Babette's Feast, Baraka. Anna and her sisters. Hiroshima Mon Amour, Atlant. Cinema Paradiso, but I'm sure a lot of people say that. What was very important for that theater and for the audience that was created, a cultural community who began learning different levels of cinema that were not simply entertainment, but that were art, that were informative. My doctor tells me people come in all the time, his patients, and talk to him about how unhappy they have been since this cinema has closed. People are upset. Many people are upset. It's like Lincoln Plaza becomes a huge example of a phenomenon that's going on up and down Broadway with the loss of small businesses. And those were the things that made up the fabric of the New York that I fell in love with. And so that's why it's very important for me to hold on to them. And the fact that there's this impassioned community uh, that has accrued on its own is terribly moving to me and would have been to Dan as well. And he would have been struck with amazement uh, of the profound uh, influence, the imprint that uh, that theater had on the lives of so many people. It's a story of 30 years of cinema going with my husband. You know, I'm sympathetic to the argument that a cultural approach to something can be a higher truth. I want that whole experience, and I want to hold on to that experience. I almost resent that the arts have to always justify their existence. It's something that I want to do. I want to be a part of that. It's something that enriches our community. After all, this is Manhattan. So we don't want the soul to expire, to lose its breath, to lose its strength and spirit. And I hope that this community keeps its spirit and plugs along on behalf of cinema.